I was struck a cord firewood. Still working on this Can-Am. Got a bed rail extension kit. The hottest shit out here. So uh, you're gonna fumble through the directions with me. Says it takes an hour to install. You don't wanna watch for an hour. I don't give a shit. This is what we're doing. I couldn't find any uh, anything online about it, so I figure I would just make one anyway. So they give me these brackets here. I, just so you know, I got everything labeled out here. P, P14 screws, P11 screws, P12 screws. This is all they give you to make this thing happen. And then, of course, the, the rails. This is for the ultimate uh, log getting vehicle. P11 screws. You need a four millimeter Allen. I got it on my DeWalt impact. Keep it a little bit loose. I'm not cranking nothing down yet. Torx specs are in the instructions. This, this one actually came with instructions. Go figure. Got these little things here. I think that's next. Let's see. Yep. Outside of the box. And we got these things. Oh, we'll see if we can do it down there. Right here, they're written outside of the box. Outside. They go right in here, aren't you? Like then we go. We're gonna unfold this thing and then mount it with P14. So let's get the sides on. Let's see if we got a lift or something. Right. Kind of heavy. the cameraman just set it up on a tripod and walks away so I don't know I hope you can see some of this shit these are the side rails it actually has a back gate too that we'll be putting on comes with it to unfold these. Let's see what side this is. Okay. So it looks like this here. I'm just looking here at the hinges here. And it looks like this one here would be this side. And that's how that would go. I think the 
reason it says to unfold it. It's a little windy today. Can't help that, but you know it is. Beautiful day. All I'm doing is lining up these uh, this thing here that it holds. There we are. We're held. And then I can work on it and put the P14s in. I think. Yep, P14s, and it looks like. I think you would want to. Go through like that. Yeah, so it looks like. Uh, Okay, yeah, so it looks like it's going from the outside in. Which I don't know why, but probably because when you lean this one down. See, when you lean this down, if I put this, I'll just show you real quick. Uh, E14, E14. The reason it goes like that and not this way, if you lean this out like this, these things fold down and it's going to hit the nut. And cause it to scratch. That's why you got these bumper stops here. So that's why they go from the outside in. I was wondering about that because the headache ones go from the inside out, but I guess that doesn't really matter on the headache rack. That. And get these two in. Yeah, it's not that hard. Of course, I'm not done it yet. But. I'm not going to crank anything tight right now. Just finger tight. And then, my arm in here, you know? Everything should probably be loose because you're going to have a, uh, a gate on the back of this. These things fold up, so there's going to be a little bit of room for adjustment, so I would leave everything loose. And again, this is my first time doing this. So I'm just going to put this up like that, line that hole up. Take this other one out of the box. And again, you'll know which side is the back side because it has hinges. You see, I'm gonna get a job at Can Am. This thing's a little bit pricey. I think this thing comes in at 11 with the headache rack, something like that. Same thing. We're lifting this up. Day. Just so I can put the bolts in. All right. Putting these four bolts in. Watch out on that one. That's real fucking funny, huh? Dickhead.
almost got me again. That would be on me. Not my asshole son to kill us. Putting this nut on. Then it looks like we need P14 for these sides. And I have them in the garage. It should be one, two. Yeah, it should be four. Let me go get them. I'm going to pause the video now because I'm running out of uh, memory and I'm going to go get them. The P14 bolts that came with the actual headache rack, so don't throw them away when they come there. They're in case you want to put this bed extender on, they go in here. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm putting them on. I'm going to drop this without smashing myself in the fucking face. Everything is loose. All right, next thing we need, you can see how it's going. Next thing we need are these hinges. I'm just aligning them up so they're exactly the same. Let me get one of these doors. This is the back gate of the thing. Looks like, let's see how they got it going on. Metal gets hot in the sun. Shocker. All right. We did that, we did that, we did that. Everything's aligned. Once parts are aligned, then it says to tighten them down. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang these doors now. Um, P12 bolt. P12 bolts. All right, so I got P12 bolts. I put, put both these hinges on, and of course they're loose as hell. And then I'm gonna put them in here. Dropping the pivot point in. That's that. Everything's loose right now. Put these two hinges on too. Grab your P12 bolts. Four of them. Four the P12s. Because I think what you got to do is you got to put everything on loose, and then uh, you just align it. So making sure everything is good that way. Yeah. Oh man, that side looks fine. It looks like this one here will go like that. And fucking around here. This one should go like that. And then this one here will go like that. It's crazy. Back to the P12s. 
putting them in. Not in the hinge pins. Again, I think they're all 10 millimeter, if I remember correct. And a lot of adjusting here, but we'll get it. Again, all the torque specs are in the thing. You got a torque wrench, you can torque everything down to specs. They're all in the instructions. I'm not gonna go over all that shit. Drop these pivot pins. Like that. And then I think this thing here will then close. Like that. And if there's anything I missed because I'm going to adjust this. I don't need you guys to eat up the memory on that. Um, it just tells you how to adjust it. That's all and how it works. Um, removal of the panels. Dropping of the panels. And... That's it. Yep, they're already on. So, again, that's that's your basic how you install it. Everything needs to be adjusted so that it works, and then. Uh, I'll give you a shot of that uh, when it's totally done and just show you how everything works when I'm done adjusting it all. But that's basically how it gets put together and then you would adjust it, you know, adjust your hinges and tighten everything up. Anything else? Leave some comments and um, like and subscribe. Good to go. Thanks. Welcome back to Struck Accord Firewood. I just got everything tightened up here. And just so you guys can see exactly what it is. So these, uh, this is your tailgate. This will swing back. You can keep it open, keep it shut. Same thing here. Got these little rubber hook things. Kind of built into it. All right, and then that goes. Hard to video and do this at the same time. So. There it is there, and it goes in, and now that locks. That's pretty secure. Then you have these side things. Now this side thing can be removed. You just drop this pin like that, and you can pull this whole thing back. Or, if you don't like them all the way up, you just pull this lever, and the thing folds down. And when it folds down, then you hook that thing there, and it's down. Same thing on the other side. Now, these, uh, these little holes here, okay, right here and here, they're used for uh, tools. Now, what it is is I started to put one in, and I broke my rivet gun. You can see it there. You buy them little things, and they insert, and then they rivet in. But my rivet gun broke. So <laughs> I have a few of them, and I'm going to put them in, and this way we can uh, hang different tools on them, axes and what have you. Um, but that's it. I just doubled the capacity, the cargo capacity of this uh, K&M. So remember, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll keep doing these videos. Any ideas you guys want to do, or a tool review, or anything like that, uh, be happy to do it. But it does. I think it looks kind of badass. I'll give you the walk around real quick. I think it looks pretty cool. Have a good one.